it's impossible for you to do what is right in your heart and it's wrong for someone else. Sometimes I tell you, some I don't know if it's a particularly <coughs> Western phenomenon or not, this obsession about decision making. <laughs> it is true. We invent things to decide upon. As though life is tapping its foot, waiting for you. If nothing arises within you like an urge that compels not just your body, but everything seems to move with it, then quite often you are manufacturing a decision. It is not coming from life, it is not moving, it is coming from the mind. And with this type of decision making, you will always wonder, Oh, did I make the right decision? There is nothing wrong with stopping. There is nothing wrong with stopping, not doing anything at all, if you don't feel it. What an excellent opportunity also to see what is life's next, next move, not yours. What is life's next move? Because there is no gap. There is no place where life says, Oh, six years ago you should have made that decision, and I simply could not move because of you. And what you are fearing is already what you are experiencing. In fact, you say, I don't feel comfortable to speak this out in front of people, all these people. But in a way, you are living this out in front of the whole world. You carry this vibration in you. We have an idea that you can hide it. But really, we are intuitive beings. Sometimes uh, things just avoid. Even animals will react to your, to your stuff. Life itself plays like this sometimes. There is nothing you need to do. Sometimes dare it and say, well, I don't feel nothing. If it is not sent or given or arises in this body like it belongs to be, I don't have to do anything about it. I keep quiet. Your mind has a lot of opinions about that. But sit it out and see. And then somehow your actions will happen and it will benefit everyone. It is impossible for you to do what is right in your heart and it is wrong for someone else. One right action is right for the whole world. Come to this place of knowing exactly what you are not and resting completely in what you are. That is the innocence in you. When you come to this place, everything flows for you. I am not saying everything smells like uh, roses. It can smell like whatever. But wherever you are, there is a rightness about it. Something will always feel that somehow it is meant to be like this. It feels right. Let the world wait. I don't say these words flippantly. I know exactly what I am saying. I know exactly what I am saying. Let the world wait.